Hello everyone, it is the Aquarium Cowboy. Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about my five, my top five fre beginner freshwater fish. Um, the first, I mean, I'm not doing this in order, but the first is going to be the Zebra Daniel, Daniel Rio. Um, it's in the Kaiprin ID family. It's minimum size tendale and easy to care for, peaceful water conditions, somewhat colder. So if you live in a warmer region, like something like Hawaii, you would want maybe a slight chiller on this or at least your home temperature to be lower but this would do better in a region where it's doesn't have cold super hot summers doesn't have super cold winters just has a moderate range a lot but in the ha but in your own house it a lot of people deep their houses to like 75 etc so that would be the temperature. All right, so you can just see this and see everything. I believe they're in the same family as minnow, but that's why they can handle cold waters. They like aids, and they're what's really cool is like guppies. You know, they they always mix the females you know they always go to different females one thing i like about this fish they stay with one female they're loyal to their female uh fish and that's one thing i like about them also they do like to spawn but um overall they just are pretty easy fish to keep then like all fish i recommend high oxygen not too much flow but not too little flow and just keep, you know, and, you know, I would recommend for the size of this, maybe two to three and a 10 gallon for a 20 gallon, maybe five, four or five, maybe six mats, but I want it, six is high. I want to do six, but actually you could do six. I'm contradicting myself all the time. All right. Next, we got the Neon Tetra. This is the Jumbo, which... I like this one better, even though it's probably going to be a little bit harder to find. It's the Para Cherry Chero Dawn in this in in I any Sai um the Cherokee Cherokee a hope I'm saying that right uh, family. Uh, they're native to Malaysia, as far as I believe, or at least that's where they're from. When you buy, if you were to buy them from Live Aquaria, but they're native in the South American region. But I'm not gonna do an in-depth fish species of uh, video. But so the min size tank size is ten gallons. But to me, if they did two gallons, I would personally keep five and a ten gallon. To me, I Live Aquaria does overdo the minimum tank sizes. To me. Five and ten gallons is gonna work out great as long as you do a sufficient amount of water changes for your fish. All right, so again, they are a tropical fish, but one nice thing is, if your house gets a little bit older, these fish can really they can stand a wide temperature range from 68 to 78. 78 is gonna be a tropical range. 68 is gonna be a subtropical range, really. So really nice that uh that is like that. Um again their care level's easy and their temperament's peaceful. That's all the information on pH KH. Here you go. Alright. They also like sight lightly acidic water. Like any fish, you want high quality food, frozen blood worms, frozen black worms, etc. 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 But, unless they're herbivore, uh, then you would want, I mean herbivore, then you would want algaes and plants and then etc, etc, etc. Alright, so now I'm going to be moving to the next fish. Alright, so this is one of my more favorite fish on this list that I really am possibly looking into keeping soon. Um, that's the American flatfish or the Jordanella floridae. 
day, day, um, I don't know if you pronounce the E or not, probably not, though, um, uh, one nice thing is, they can go rather small taints, but I recommend a mini minimum of five, at least that's what I saw on one website when I was lifting them up, um, they're colder water, in theory, again, hope I don't, I'm not taking Corey's term, but, I've been watching him for a couple of years now, or a few. I tend to take his term a lot, uh, just because. It really, I just say it a lot because of him. Um, but then in theory, they are subtropical fish. They can't handle like your 50 degrees, 60 or 50, you know, 40, 30, like a goldfish or a koi or a native could. Um, but they can handle relatively cold waters now they're more subtropical but 72 is more of a tropical temperature when normally 72 is more of the lowest tropical temperature in theory um and 66 is more subtropical once you get below 60 you're getting into more cold water but so in theory they can be kept out during summer no unless you live in a quite mild temperature, but they can be, if in theory, outside during the spring, maybe fall, as long as you don't have a really weird fall or spring, um, if you have a mild winter or mild, uh, summer, then I guess, but they're, I don't know if I said their family name already, but I probably will have a, uh, hard time saying it, again, they tend to represent they kind of look like the American flag. I can see they have some green on them, but it they have a little bit of white in some places, and they have the red and the white. Real beautiful, honestly. All right, so their family name is the Cyprinodontida. Uh, at least I hope that's how you say it. They're uh, kiwi fish. I actually didn't know that. It's actually a new world killifish, but that's actually really, really, um, that's, that's awesome. But they actually originate from Florida. Now, Florida's going to be probably, if you live in Florida, that's probably going to be a better temperature range for them since they originate from there. Especially if you live next to where they originate from in Florida. But swamps, so they're native to America, but tropical, more tropical temperature America. Like, Florida probably isn't going to get to super duper cold, but it probably isn't going to get to super duper duper hot. It's more going to be hum humid, which shouldn't make the water too warm. That's why they originate from there and live there fine. Um... And then, yeah, so planted aquariums, community aquariums, they are somewhat semi-aggressive, but just give them their space and cooler water aquariums. When they say cool water, to me, I run my 55 gallon, I'm going to call it a predator since they live fish. My 55 gallon predator tank runs at, right now, probably 60 or 65, something like that. During the winter, probably 50, uh, something like that. I keep it real cold, and it was like 55 degrees when my quarry cat was in there before my green sunfish started eating the fish. Alright, so as you can see, that's everything, frozen foods, algae tablets, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, so that's going to be the American flatfish. A uh, really fun fish to keep. I really hope to get this fish in the nearer future, maybe. This year, maybe next year. Um, but this fish really is awesome. Alright, let's move to nuts. The celibus rainbow. Now, there are quite a few rainbow types that are pretty common. 20 gallons. Even, in theory, more beautiful than this. And they're easy and peaceful. But I thought I would point this fish out just because, I mean, it doesn't really get that. I mean, most people are going to, they see a Bosmani or this thing. You know, which would they rather? I think that this fish probably doesn't get as much light in the hobby. Because, you know, it's 
the appearance isn't as stunning as something like a Bosmani or a Precot. You know, so I believe this fish really deserves more credit. That's why it's on this list also. I wanted to include a rainbow fish, so yes, the syllabus. Rainbow fish, hope I'm saying that right. This scientific name looks hard, but I'm going to try to pronounce it. Alright, it's going to be the Telemathrana. It's pretty easy. Ladai Gisai. Gisai. Something like that. And then the family. Oh, their origin is Indonesia. Uh, their color form. Blat, I guess it is black. I'm going to look that up online, see what their actual color formation is. It's kind of weird why they put black, and it looks like a clear and yellow fish up there. But peaceful, more of a tropical fish, but can't do too warm of water, but can't do too cold. pH higher, uh, not acidic, more moderate, but getting a little bit higher in the 7.0 to 7.5 range. KH then be 12 through 20, and that is Fahrenheit right here, KH and pH. All right, so there, it's a schooling fish, so I would say three inches, I would put three, I mean, I would put like five and a 30 gallon by themselves. There's all the information on them, not much. Um, so, as you can see, live foods, so... Yeah, um, I guess if you had super small minnows like I do, or like fry fish, if you had a full grown three incher, I guess you could feed them that. Alright, I'm going to look up a picture of them to see what their color formation actually is, because it's kind of weird when they put black, and then it's a clear and yellow fish. Alright, actually I do always feel like these, uh, like live aquarium never does, uh, did picture like look at that that has way more orange and black that's a beautiful fish gray i mean that picture of them really gonna categorize them right like look at that thing that's that's beautiful um we'll do a school of them what's that look like there there's no school but i mean honestly really just a beautiful fish and i can't believe you know like that didn't look one thing like them um, that thing's probably printed, but that, that, if that's a, just a, yeah, I believe that's a syllabus angelfish, I mean, rainbow fish, that is gorgeous, it's probably pregnant, but man, look at that black, so I feel like this fish really doesn't get as much credit, it's beautiful, and it's a really nice looking fish, alright, so the next fish, Let's go. Alright, so some people may want a bottom feeder. Some people may want, a, you know, may feel like they want either a catfish or a pleco. So this fish is really going to be a great beginner. Now, I wouldn't, now it's probably not going to be found in your Petco or PetSmart, but you can probably special order it if you have a local fish store or in there you can't order from Live Aquarium. Beep. And it's only gets four inches, which is a in theory, in my opinion, very small pleco. Um, peaceful, easy, 30 gallons. I would really just keep it in a 15 to 20 gallon. Um, I can't say much on this just because my time's running now. I only have like 37 left. I can see you can stop this video right now and look at that information on them. And then try to pronounce their name. Alright, it is going to be the Pecola, Peto, Pecola, Tia, Species, Platy, Rife, China, alright, and then the Laura, Cardi, alright guys, so, this is going to be the last fish, it's a great fish, it's a Placo, everyone wants one of these cuties, alright, that's going to be it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. And God bless. Cowboy out.